All right, slides, sweet. Uh, so uh, I don't have slides, I just have a Docker file. <laughs> okay, so, right, we have a, a problem with building Docker containers, and that is that they're enormous compared to the size of our binaries, which are just, you know, tiny, like, you know, 10, 20 megabytes of binary, and then you uh, put that inside an Ubuntu or a CentOS image, and it's like 300 gigabytes, or, ooh, megabytes, pardon me. So uh, the goal here is to only have what we need in a really tiny Docker container. All right, so first of all, we're starting from a very small Docker container called Alpine Linux, right? Um, this is available, Glider Labs makes one, which I like, but there's also a base uh, Docker box, you know, in the, in the base. You can just impart Alpine at the top. Um, so step one, tiny container at the base. Um, so step two, we wanna be able to uh, build our container and then remove everything we needed to build our container so that we only have the runtime stuff. So what we're doing here is we're going to add some runtime dependencies here on, uh, on line four. Um, this is the APK package manager. Uh, Alpine basically is, it's more or less a busy box container with a package manager just sitting on top of it. Um, so they have everything packaged in a very minimal way. Um, we installed bash here because I have, uh, by default this container has a, uh, a start script that will copy in some uh, root CAs so that it will, uh, it will know who it can trust to connect to. So we install bash here and we're copying that launch script in. Um, next, we need to obviously copy all of our, our source code in. So uh, we get that. We need to get Go, Git, and Mercurial as packages so that we can get all of our dependencies. And then we are just going to uh, go where we clone the code, set the Go path to slash Go. We're gonna get our dependencies. I run tests on this here too. So I actually, um, I can't ship a container that the tests don't pass on, right? And this is a little bit of a, of a hack, right? You tend to wanna um, get away from, from coupling like build and test here, but uh, what we're doing here is we're removing everything we don't need afterwards anyway, so we can kind of get away with it if we don't have any like uh, huge integration tests that we need to run. So then of course we're building this and sending it elsewhere. So this is important because the next step is removing everything. So uh, we're, we're putting this at slash bin slash marathon console. Uh, this is a, a little utility to forward uh, marathon apps from uh, the Mesos framework marathon to the console key value store. Uh, next we remove the entire Go uh, tree in the file system. So all of our dependencies and our source code are gone at this point. If you need anything else, you just add more commands to copy them. And then we'll purge the, uh, the Go toolchain and Git and Mercurial. Um, and then just set our entry point to our binary. Or in, in my case, I would probably have set this to launch.sh. Uh, but for clarity here, you would normally just set it to your, uh, the bin that you just built. Uh, so this ends up being about 30 megabytes. Uh, it's, it's about 28 megabytes for Alpine, and then about two megabytes for the, uh, for the actual binary in the Docker container. Um, as opposed to when we were running this with Ubuntu, it was two megabytes for the Docker container floating atop the giant iceberg that is Ubuntu. Um, you know, relatively speaking, it's, it's very small. Uh, that's actually it. Uh, any questions? This is uh, kind of a hack.